On Sunday, which was still Yuntif for many Jews here in the diaspora, millions of Christians in churches across the United States already were praying for Israel. And today we have one of the great leaders of that part of Christendom, which has a respect and a love for the Jewish state. It's an honor to ask Pastor Greg Laurie, who is the senior pastor of Harvest Christian Fellowship, to share a few words. But I can tell you, even if he doesn't say one word, he's already done a lot more than some of us have who are sitting right here. Greg, would you join us? Well, it's my honor to be here with you for a few moments today and stand in solidarity with all of you and for the state of Israel. Our hearts have all been broken as we've observed this wicked attack against Jewish men, women, and children, and the elderly by Hamas. And we pray that this terrorist organization will be stopped once and for all and that the hostages will be free. I do not represent all Christians, I speak for myself, but I do believe I represent many, if not most, when I say we love the Jewish people, we love the state of Israel, and we stand by you, and we are against anti-Semitism in all of its forms, wherever it is expressed. And this, of course, as you all know so well, is not something that is new. This goes back to the book of Exodus when the Pharaoh gave the decree that all the Jewish baby boys should be put to death, but the Jewish midwives would have nothing to do with that. And one of those little boys that was spared, of course, was Moses, who ultimately delivered them. Fast forward to the book of Esther. We have the wicked plot of Haman to eradicate the Jewish people then, but the Lord raised up the courageous Queen Esther to speak in their behalf, and they were delivered. Fast forward to Hitler's Holocaust. And speaking of that, you know, we hear a lot about a two-state solution. I think what the enemies of Israel want ultimately is a final solution. They want them destroyed, wiped off the face of the earth in public statements made by Iran that sponsors Hezbollah and Hamas as well. This is all evil. We oppose it. We stand against it. And we stand with you today. I want you to know your Christian friends are standing with you. I'm not, I'm not Jewish, I wish I was, but I have benefited from your people and from your faith and from the book you have preserved so well and handed on to all of us, the Bible. My life was changed by Jesus Christ when I was a confused young man going the wrong way in life. I'd never read the Bible before. I opened it up and I discovered how much of a book it is about the history of Israel. And I follow and worship the same God you follow, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And so I would like to close with the blessing that the priest would give to the people. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. God bless you and shalom.